living here then? Uh, just, just over, over two years. Yeah. Yeah. Not so long. Yeah, quite, quite new to the area. Mm -hmm. You've been to um, this celebration before, did you no. come last year? No. No, 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 they didn't no, have it last year. I think it was just the 14th anniversary. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so, do you think the weather will ruin the mood of the... Not, no, it won't ruin the mood, no, no. definitely not. Everybody's up for it, it, regardless. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what, what are, you, are you just coming to sort of help out, or are you coming... Both. Coming for the duration, yeah. The duration, yeah. All of it, yes. yeah. I've already been down this morning. Have you? Yeah. Everyone's been going quite early, haven't they? <laughs> One night to be confused, one night to speed up truth, we had a promise. I was just wondering about, um, you, you've been a mayor here, haven't you? Or, um, how long were you mayor? Is it just um, one year? No, I've been mayor two, two years. Two years? Um, I was first mayor in, in 1992 and uh, uh, managed to uh, beat Richard Bry the run thing. And, uh, and I had a very good year there. And, uh, one of the highlights of, of that year was that um, we had a, a coach load of uh, Americans that came to Cookfield and uh, was greeted by myself and had a small tour of, of, of the village. You know. And then I was um, mayor again in 1996. Yeah, it's only six. Did you enjoy that? Yes, it was equally enjoyable. You know, I've, I've lived in Cookville now and I'm coming on for, for 40 years now as well. It's 40 years this year. And um, thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. I met some wonderful people along the way. And do you work with the, um, the parish council, don't you? What's, what's sort of your role? I am, a, I am an elected uh, parish council, okay. yes. And I'm chairman yeah. of the uh, Environment Committee. Yeah. Uh, that oversees the, um, okay, the, the maintenance, work, general maintenance of the, of the churchyard and um, oh, uh, sort of yeah. furniture in and around the village. Yeah. Okay. Just okay. the environment okay. in general, really. I'm also on the, uh, the, uh, the planning committee as well. So you're quite involved in the... Yes, I'm, I'm yeah. involved heavily uh, within the village itself, really. So are you looking forward to the um, street party today? Yes, uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to it greatly and uh, of course it's, it's, it's very sad it's turned out like yeah. this uh, at the moment, but uh, I'm told it's going to clear up and uh, I just keep... Keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, hopefully the weather won't fit too much of a damper on things. No. no. Okay, so thank that's, you very much then. No, that's, that's fine, thank you. Both under influence, we had divine to know what to say. Mind is a race away. To call for hands of a Society in Cookfield, there's about I don't know two and a half thousand people, and I got uh, three hundred and sixty thousand votes. So, yeah. you know, lots of people voted many times. Yeah. You can vote as many times as you like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds like fun. So you're looking forward to the, the um, street, party street party today? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, there's a thousand people. We've also got in the middle of it um, some thirty odd forty people sitting down for a three-course 
tandoori meal <laughs> with wine. So this rain's going to give us a bit of extra gravy with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think the rain will affect the, um, the mood of the street parties? No, it forecasts it'll, it'll go off. And anyway, just drink a bottle of wine and you won't notice <laughs> yeah. the rain. Yeah. Three of the scraggy, scraggy donkey. All right, well, the scraggy donkey really comes back, it goes right back to the beginnings of the, um, the independent state. And because the uh, county council wouldn't let us run the donkey derby that was becoming very popular in the area, um, we had to stop doing it. So we declared independence at the same time as Rhodesia. And we elected our own mayor. And of course, the mayor needed transport, so we decided to use one of the donkeys that we used to race to, um, to pull the, the mayor around the village on a cart. You know, it got so scraggy, it was moth-eaten and <laughs> flea-bitten but <laughs> and smelly. <laughs> but that's, that's the history of the year. Uh, Just trying to um, keep it going, make sure everybody has a good time, and that we have no big gaps. And um, generally, there is stuff happening all the time. Um, so we have to be fairly organised up front to know what's what we've got lined up, who's coming, what time they're available, and just basically keep on top of it all and keep your wits about you, and um, just keep watching everything really. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so are you enjoying today? Oh, no, it's gone very well. We had a bit of a dodgy morning. Because um, it was fine when we got up, but then it started raining through the morning. So it was a bit interesting setting up because electricity and water don't tend to mix. So uh, that was a bit of a problem. But no, it's all come together, and I think everybody's now here pretty much, and everybody's really showing me a good time. Do you think if it had rained, do you think it Yeah, it would have been a bit of a problem. People have still turned out. That's, that's what people are like around here. So. Uh, it wouldn't be as good. I mean, it'd be nice to have a bit of sunshine, but as long as it's not raining, that's, yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah, okay, thank okay, you. no problem. Nice to meet you.
weekend down here, I'm staying with Bridget Wallace and um, she invited us to the street party today and we came down yesterday and we actually had to look around the museum. Oh right, yeah, so did you, did you like it? Yes, very good, very good. We also have um, a museum in Buckingham, so it was nice to see the contrast of the two and yeah. look at the different ways in which it's been developed. Have you, did you used to live here or are you, are you just... No, I am from Sussex originally, I used to live in Heathfield in Sussex and then moved up here about... 20 odd years ago. Yeah, so are you having fun here today? Yes, it's been very good. Yeah, it's like yeah. so many people, um, lots of entertainers, activity, and people enjoying themselves. So I think that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. And so, do you sort of know what, what everyone's celebrating here? Um, it's the 40 years of the independence of the state, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. What you thinking? What's behind? Don't tell me, but it feels like love. I'm gonna take this moment and make it last forever. I'm gonna give my heart away. 
with you, which was extremely clever. After 40 years, you've learned how to do it, obviously. And I do want to say a big thank you to everybody who organized this party. And I'm sure you're enjoying yourselves. And I certainly am. I think it's a wonderful party. Well done to everybody. And it's lovely to see you. And I hope in, when we get to the next 40 years, you'll all be hobbling around like me, or rather better. And uh, we shall see you then. I'm afraid I won't. Never mind. <laughs> I'll be thinking of you. She has been the driving force behind the independent state of Philpville for 40 years. Phil Baring, give her a big, big round of applause. Thank you very much, Phil. Well, and then we're going to round off the afternoon with a big session from the Buffaloes as well. Need the 
helping me fundraise and um, right we're going to do it we'll do it properly so we raised 6,800 which is the record so it's good I mean if you're going to do something you need to have a real good go uh, so yeah what job involved then what do you do um well it's totally non-political I'm sure you know it's purely uh, for fundraising for the independent state of Cookfield and all the money gets used in the village so I just get asked to open the school bonfire, like the school bonfire, which was in November, obviously. The old folks' Christmas lunch, I preside over that. Um, I've been asked to pose by the whipping post around the corner for the museum. Um, just all sorts of varied things. Yeah, yes, open the cider party and, yeah, yeah. just turn up as a fun thing. Yeah, it sounds like you enjoy it It's good. Yeah. So just for a year, so it'll come to an end in October. So is there sort of any particular requirements to, you have to have? Is there like an age limit or something? No, no age limit. You just have to live in Cookfield. So that is a requirement that yeah. you live in Cookfield. But then really people that live in Cookfield want to do it for the village. All the money gets used within the village. So that's the only requirement. I mean, we haven't had any very young mayors, but I suppose if they want to, yeah. roads might be a bit long. <laughs> Yeah, a bit of responsibility. Yeah, well. exactly. <laughs> Having to make speeches and talk to people. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe not speeches. No, no. But yeah, thank you very much. That's then. okay. Nice to see you. Yeah. You're the one good reason You're the only girl 
involved in the original making Pickfield an independent state. Well, what happened? We used to run donkey racing, and every year at Whiteman Street we had a donkey grand national, and we used to get about 10,000 people and 20 bookmakers and a huge crowd. And everybody in Cookfield wanted to make money, came and had a stall or a sideshow. And of course, the 10,000 people there, they made a lot of money. Then the council compulsorily acquired that land for playing fields and wouldn't let us use it. So we were you know, shattered. Where was all the money going to come from? So we decided we'd better follow uh, um, Rhodesia, who just become Zimbabwe, and declare UDI. You know. So we became the independent state of Cookfield, and that was in 1966. And um, since then, we've gone on to have, you know, mayor's elections, cuckoo fairs, um, everything you can think of, old people's dinners, and, and um, fun, you know, fun for the, um, the small children. And um, that's been going on now for 40 years. So we're celebrating our 40th anniversary. Yeah. So can you sort of summarize some of the highs and lows that we've had? Well, to begin with, people thought we were just a bit of stupid nonsense, yeah. you know? and especially the Cookfield Society, I must say, who looked after you know, the, preservation, the conservation area. And then the um, bridge between here and Amstai, the high bridge, collapsed, and so Amstai was totally cut off from Cookfield. And they were very worried because they couldn't get to the shops, they couldn't get to the hospital, they couldn't get to the doctor. And um, so the council they wrote to the, the county council and said, could they have a temporary bridge until they could repair it? And they said no. So we got our mayor to write a bit of fun. And sure enough, a temporary daily bridge was put up. And it was unbelievable. And so they thought, well, maybe we did have some use. And then, much worse, that where the golf course is now, you're not going to write the that was going to be a 32-acre rubbish dump for commercial and industrial and household rubbish. And I mean, that would have been dreadful, you can imagine. And all the lorries would have come through Cookville all the time with the rubbish. And um, they put the planning application in the paper in the middle just before Christmas, just the Thursday before Christmas. Well, no one looks at planning applications before Christmas, but we did. And we at once got onto the council and said, what is happening? And they said, oh, it's nothing. It's a small field at the back of the spot farm. And uh, where the shop is now. And, um, you know, it's nothing. We said, well, yes, that was filled in two years ago. And it wasn't very nice, but that's all done. This is something much more major. It's over 30 acres. And so, no, that was all right. It's going ahead. And um, so we had to think of ways to stop it. So I thought, well, all the springs that feed the pools, which is our water supply, rise on that bridge. So all our drinking water will be polluted. No, no, it's been cleared with the water bowl. So then I had another bright idea. The North Sea gas may run through that valley. So if you're going to have a, a rubbish dump and the rubbish leaks through, you'll have a major conflagration. Everything will go up in smoke. No, no, it's been cleared with the gas pool. And then, long before your time, but there used to be a program on TV called, um, what do they call that program on TV? Nationwide, nationwide, nationwide. And they always look try to find something, you know, that they can make a sort of program of. Well, we wrote to them, and they were interested because it was the independent state. And um, so they came down for three days, and they filmed it. And it was really funny because they wanted to take a, a film of the councillor who wanted the rubbish dump standing above the valley. And they wanted to say, you know, why do you want to wreck this beautiful valley? When alternative sites. They already had permission for a dump at Warnham, where the old chain works were. And um, silly old councillor said, beauty's only in the eye of the pole, isn't it? I mean. And then we had, they asked us to put a barrier across the road. So we put this barrier across. Along comes the police car and says, you can't put barriers across main roads. Take it down. So the BBC said, oh, it's just BBC doing a short film. I don't mind whether it's BBC or not. Take that barrier down. And then he turned to us and said, is it anything to do with the independent state? And I said, yes, I'm afraid it is. Well, don't be too long about it. He said, we got away with that. 
So that was the uh, we, we won. The, 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 uh, eventually withdrew. We managed to get a public inquiry on the strength of that. And then, of course, we had to read the council, which cost a thousand pounds, which we had to raise. And um, the, the uh, inquiry was fixed for the Tuesday before the South of England show. And um, we were all brief and all the rest of it. And on, the t on that actual day, the, the day before, the um, council rang up and said, there will be no inquiry, we have dropped our application. And so um, I said, well, don't you dare ring off. My husband's got a few words to say to you. And I jumped on my bike and I shot down into Cookville, right near the yeah, halfway to Stapleville. And I uh, said, we've won, we've won, let's put all the bunting out. So we put all the bunting down the high street. And, really. and um, so, that, I mean, that was a trial. We saved Cookville from there. So I think that was probably the high school. But, I mean, we've done, I mean, like the paddling pool on the wreck for the children. The council, when they were having an economy drive, said they couldn't afford to mend it in the front of it. And so um, they, they couldn't make it all of that. So we stepped in and we said, well, And we have, I mean, every penny we raise has to go to help them, which includes helping um, youngsters your age who want to go on an operation or go to their university or something. And um, the only stipulation is that they must write a full report on everything they did. And, um, I mean, if, but every penny must help them. Yeah. So, what so kind of other um, charity should we do the best Well, we've gone to the, the shop room and they put them in the car box. And, um, well, we've, um, the adventure playground for the primary school was provided by us. And, um, lots of microscopes and things for the morning park. And, um, the camping equipment for the scouts. Um, equipment for the, because we reckon that the hospital can be included, but not all most of the day was a more than the hospital. So, there's, um, um, things that they needed in the maternity ward. We run every year. We run a Christmas dinner party for all, any old age pensioner who lives in Cookville, and we do it all ourselves. The primary school comes in carols for us. Warden Park provides us with twelve girls and boys to come and help us look after everybody, wait at table and everything. And um, every, everybody in Cookville is involved. They're either washing up or driving or cooking. So I don't think I've got friends left. I'm gonna get